a center of Gobert's caliber. I mean, how much do you take that as a as a personal challenge, especially considering some of your past matchups with him? Right. I I wouldn't say it's personal, but I want to go out there, you know, try my best, prove that I can be on that level of a center in the league. You know, he did just get that big contract that he earned playing an amazing defense, being offensive threat. So I just want to prove that I'm on his level. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Jared, it wasn't too long ago where I believe I would ask you after every game or so, just what's it like learning after playing against an elite center? Uh, and, and tonight, you, you, I mean, you outplayed Rudy, right? I don't think right. there's any, any way around that. So can you just quantify your growth over the last few years and kind of talk about what you've learned that you've been able to apply at this point in your career? Yeah, so going back to rookie year, you know, you're a deer in headlights. You had a lot come, or I had a lot coming at me. And just looking at all the bigs that came before me, looking at all the bigs I had to play against, like being thrown into the fire in the 19. And then after that, playoffs and just having to learn on the job. And finally this year, I'm starting to put it all together, knowing what I have to do, knowing I can still be more physical out there and not being able to call fouls, getting respect from uh, the refs, you know, that's, that's the thing. Uh, just going out there and playing my game and being comfortable over the past couple of years. Here's another look. It, it bears repeating this graphic because we heard it during Jared Allen's sound right there. He definitely outplayed Rudy Gobert, two-time uh, NBA Defensive Player of the Year. Um, 19 points, 18 boards. He must have had the end of the pregame on. Frank, when yeah. we were talking about how Gobert absolutely destroyed him in the previous four meetings. When you